Now we've all heard of the INSAS. Now the INSAS is the weapon that was designed and developed by the DRDO in the early 80s. The project began around that time and the aim was to replace the Indian Army 7.62 SLR. The INSAS entered service in 1999 and it's finally after almost 30 years of uh, service with the army finally being phased out. But what I have in my hands here today is one of the most unique inventions of the INSAS, one of the most unique iterations of the INSAS designed by an army officer. What I have in my hands here is one of the most unique weapons that I have seen in India. This is, believe it or not, the pull-up version of the INSAS, designed by an Indian Army officer. Just look at it. It's one of the most amazing iterations, the most amazing versions of the INSAS, possibly something that even the original designers might not have conceived. It's a pull-up design. Now, a pull-up design, as you know, is where the magazine and the firing assembly are behind the trigger. So what you've done is you have chopped the barrel substantially. The weapon is only 600 millimeters and the barrel is just 300 millimeters. It weighs just a little over 3 kgs and it's got a cocking mechanism that's different from the earlier incess. You can see this right here. It's very easy to cock and it's got Picatinny rails, four of them, one, two, three, four, and it's got a foregrip here. And this foregrip is, it's an adjustable foregrip. You can uh, vary the angle of this grip. It's got a new grip here, a new pistol grip. This is a 30 round magazine, and I'm told there are plans to increase this to 50, but just look at this weapon. I mean, it's incredible. The only part of this that is uh, from the original INSAS 1C is this. This is the only part that actually tells you the provenance of this weapon. And uh, uh, this is, these are the sights. Flip up sights and calibrated for 100 meters. Now, I don't have to tell you how effective a weapon like this would be for a CQB warrior, someone who's entering a confined space. Here, here. It. The firing, the charging lever is on this side, but I'm told there are plans to get one for a, uh, an ambidextrous shooter. Easy to handle on both sides. So this is the son of the INSAS. Finally, you have the bullpup INSAS. And this is a great weapon to utilize the existing rounds uh, that are already there of the INSAS, the 5.56 into 45. And who knows, this could possibly be the Indian Army's new 5.56 into 45 CQB weapon designed, developed, and produced by an Indian Army officer.